Hello friends, welcome back. This is the continuation of my previous video tutorial. There we had started a refactory Hibernate CRUD example and we had introduced a doll layer as well as a service layer, right? So earlier we were coded everything is the client program itself, right? So uh, some of the refactoring we have done for create uh, employee and get employee ID we have done and get employee from client program we are making call to the our service layer and service makes call to the our doll layer right and doll layer here what we are doing uh, here basically we are printing employee information in doll layer itself and that is also getting returned and that's the reason uh, 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 here employee information is getting printed twice right so we we'll, we can make some change on the doll here. So if you did not watch my previous video tutorial, uh, that is the part one of this video, then I request you to go and watch. Then uh, come and watch this video. Then here, what I'm going to do uh, here, I'm going to write a return if uh, employee not null. That means employee exists with this ID, which is provided by the client on the database side, and this employee I would like to return else i would like to print this message and here this is going to return as not right now let's go back and run this client program so if i call get employee by id and here we are passing the id as one and if you look into the database we have only one employee with id one if i run this application then uh, Hibernate is going to fire or trigger, uh, trigger a select query and here you can see employee information is getting printed whose ID is 1. So two uh, API we have refactor. Now next API we have a uh, update employee by ID and here you can see uh, update employee by ID we have to what we can do uh, here we can pass employee service and from here, here employee service we can make call to the update uh, employees whose salary is one and we are going to update with the new salary so current right now salary is 50,000 so let's make it 60,000 so I would like to update his salary by 60,000 right so now if you call to the service layer service makes call to the DAW and DAW here we are basically just updating employee uh, so here we are getting the new salary right new salary we are setting and we are just updating employee status with the new uh, salary right so let's check it out how it works so if i go and so at this time i is going to trigger two query first select and then update right so if i go to the console then here you can see first select and second is update query if you go and refresh they will see salary will become 60 so let me select this there is probably so now salary is 60,000 so update is working perfectly fine now go to the client program again and here one API is still pending to test and that is nothing but a delete employee by ID right so delete employee by ID Go to here and re remove all those stuff and here this is gonna take a reference as employee service and employee service dot I would say delete employee by ID ID one I'm going to pass one right so currently we have only one employees ID is one if I run then this employee should be deleted from the database and here you can see imply has uh, sorry hibernate has select trigger select query after that delete query has been fired and if you go and refresh employee is deleted from the database so this is the way to basically you code in the industry right in it industry so so here now tomorrow if you want to implement mvc application then you have already doll layer as well as service layer right in service why i have introduced service layer because a lot of business logic you can write in the service layer 
business logic we, we should not write in the doll layer that's why we have a one extra layer so if you have a MB, mbc application like you have a, a presentation layer which we might implement in the uh, jsp and from jsp we next call to the uh, controller that may be a servlet or stars or any some other framework and from DAW, you make call to the your service layer. And service will interact with the DAW, and DAW finally talks to the database. So there, uh, this so basically we have a layered architecture, right? So uh, that's it. We want to discuss in this video tutorial. And previous video tutorial, we have learned how we can uh, perform a CRUD operation by introducing uh, DAW layer as well as service layer in Hibernate application. So I hope you enjoy learning this video. This code you will get on the GitHub and GitHub location. I will specify in the video description itself. And this code uh, also I'm going to post on the my newly created blog that is uh, that is uh, uh, here if you go and try to hit this URL kkjavatutorialsblogspot.com. So this is the I mean tutorial. Uh, this is the blog which I have created recently. So this all things which we are learning in the hibernate i'm going to post in this tab hibernate 5 tab right and some of the things already i have posted and some of the things are pending so the pending things i'm going to post very soon so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial